Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Paint Last tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to pervert and unpervert a data frame object using the Paint Last library in Python. So knowing how to pervert and unpervert a data frame object is something I think all the data professionals should know at least. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to take a data frame object and pivot it into a different uh, structure. So let's see. So here I have an Excel file, and I'm going to just give you a visually demonstration on what we'll be doing in this exercise. So we're going to take a data set. Uh, in this case, it will be a data frame, and it's going. The data frame is going to look like this. So we have four different fields: date, group, value one, and value two columns. So these two columns are your values. So let me, show you. Let me use different color. And we're going to pivot in the table into a structure look like this. So on the top, we have the, the groups, so A, B, and C. And from the index, so which is the index column, we have the dates. And inside uh, the rows and the columns, rows and the columns, we are going to map the values uh, based on the row index and the column uh, index. The end result is going to look like this. All right, now let's go back to, so let's open your uh, Python editor. And here I already have a, a predefined Python script that is going to uh, create the, the data frame that is going, is going to look like this. So if I simply just uh, highlight my Python script or my Python code and just run it, Okay, and so if I just print my data frame object, and here's what we have. Sure, I'm missing. Okay, so I'll come back. So I'll come back to the value two column later. So for now, uh, we have these three columns: date, group, and value. And to pivot the data frame, so I'm going to use the the uh, the pivot function. So here, let me um uh, pull out the documentation. So let's take a look at the pivot function real quick. So the, the pivot function is data frame. So that's the data, that's the data frame object and it pivots the function. So within the pivot function, we have uh, one, two, three, three parameters. So the index, columns, and the values. And all the parameters have default none. So that's the, the none object. So if we uh, just scroll down, so if we look at the return type, and the return type is going to returns as a reshaped data frame object. So that's basically all you need to know. Now let's go back. So we know uh, that we're going to use the pivot function. So here, let me take the data frame object, which is df. I'm going to call the pivot function. And I'm going to uh, write out everything. So that way it's going to be very clear to users and to yourself. Now here, my first parameter is the index. And my index is going to be the date column. So I'm going to type date. And next, my common uh, name is going to be group. So here I'll type group. It should, should be columns. So by the way, you can actually provide list to the column parameters. And just because right now, uh, I'm only going to group by the group column. So I'm just merely type group. And for the values, so value is going to be the the column that I want to use to uh, insert into the value section. So my value is going to be just the value column. So I'm going to type value. And I'm going to store the the output into a object called uh, pivot. Is it pivot? And if I run it, so if I just run if I just run this line right here. And if I just print, uh, oops. So my VS Code is having some uh, weird issues. So every time I'm trying to uh, execute just a single line, it's going to create multiple uh, blank lines. So I don't know why is that happening. So I apologize for that. So if I print the, the pivot object, and here we get this uh, reshaped layout. And that's basically your pivot uh, table. So so here we have the so here on the top we have group and 
on the left hand side we have the dates so inside the dates and the group uh, columns now the columns uh, I guess the, the columns and the index and we have the values in the center so that's basically how you use the, the pivot function now assuming that you have multiple values columns not just a single value column now you have two uh, value columns so here let me create another column so let's call this uh, let's call this uh, value column VAL2 so which you just just like what I have here value 2 column and the value 2 column is going to be uh, the value column times 2 oops uh, oh uh, let me see oh it should be value and let me try again okay now if I print my data from object so here uh, I get this additional extra value to column and this time I'm going to actually let me comment this out now this time I'm going to uh, pivot the, the data frame object and I'm going to uh, for the parameter so for the index I'm going to keep that the same and for the columns I'll keep that the same except that this time I'm not going to provide a values parameter so my statement is going to look like this and I'm going to save the output to an uh, object called pivot2 so p-i-v-o-t-e-d and pivot2 now if we print the, the pivot2 object Now this time we get a reshaped data frame object with two different value groups. So here's value one and here's value two. Now let's say you want to put everything back to the original uh, structure. So basically we want to take this reshaped data frame object and convert back into this original format. So which is just a regular table. So here we can take the pivot object. So I'll take the pivot to object. And I'm going to call the stack method and that reset index so this is going to reset the index and I'm going to sort by values so this is optional if you don't need to sort your data frame object then you don't need to uh, call the sort values method but unless I want to sort my uh, my data frame by group and by dates so yeah, I should be the by parameter and we're going to provide lists inside the list are the column names that you want to use to sort the, the table and just be more clear so I'm going to specify the axis and uh, using zero and zero means I want to sort everything by rows all right now if I print uh, this name right here which is line 15 and that will reshape back the, the pivot object back to the original uh, table structure. So here, we have, so here we have dates, group, uh, value 1, and value 2. So this is everything I have to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.